this tutorial, we're going to look at how to create a private member variable, a property, and a method within a Visual Basic class. We'll then look at how we can instantiate an object of that class, and then how we can use that object in a very simple way. So what I've got here is a class called Vehicle, and Module 1 is our main program. But we can't really do anything with the main program until we've actually written some code in the class. So here I'm going to create one private member variable. So we go private registration number as string. And I've decided to choose this as my private member variable because I'm thinking, well, all of the vehicles I might want to use in this program later all have one thing in com common, at the very least, and that it's its registration number. So now I'm going to create a public property that's associated with this private member variable. So we go public property, and then we give it a name. I'm going to go regro number. It doesn't have it can't be the same name as the member variable. Open and close the parentheses and then go as string. So it's got to be the same data type as the corresponding private member variable for obvious reasons. Then we type get and press enter and the rest of the property template appears for us. So in get we're going to go return and then the private member variable. So the data sitting in underscore registration number is going to be returned or sent back to the main program if we choose the rego number property. So just a typo there. Now in set we're going to assign to that private member variable whatever value we pass to it. Now noting in this particular example I've got no data validation or anything like that. That can come later and in itself isn't going to help us understand object-oriented programming. But if I wanted to add some data validation, I could do that inside the set section here, but before this line assigning value to underscore registration number. Now finally, I'm going to um, create a public method. So I'm going to go public sub display data. Open and close parentheses. I'm not going to have any parameters. I'm going to keep it really simple. And here I'm going to go console.writeline, add in a label, registration number, and later on I'm going to use tabular, tabular data, so um, rows and columns. So I'm just going to go dot pad write to the end of that hard coded string and 22 spaces. Then I'm going to concatenate that with the current value of the private member variable. So when I go over to module 1, the main program, the first thing we need to do is to instantiate or declare an object of the vehicle class. So it's dim, let's call it one vehicle, as new there's the constructor method of um, a class, of, of an object of a particular class in VB. And then follow that up with the name of the class that we're after. So one vehicle is an object of the vehicle class. Now that I've got that, I'm going to hard code some data. So I could do console.readline, but just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to go one vehicle dot, and we can see we've got one public property called regio number and that is going to be assigned a registration number for a car or a vehicle of some sort and um, that's hard coded here. Now there's two ways I could redisplay that registration number. The first is essentially by brute force. So I'm going to go console.writeline one vehicle Whoops, Daisy. Let's try that again. One vehicle dot regio number. But another way I can do it, if I leave a gap between the two lines, just for readability, I could also go call the one vehicle object dot 
display data method of that object. If we save it and run our code, you'll see what I mean. So we've got two different output lines here. The first one corresponds to this line here. Display in the console window the current registration number of the one vehicle object. Noting we've only got one object. And the C, same value as we hard coded up here. So why is this one different? Well, this one is getting the code to display that registration number plus a label from the display data sub written over here in the vehicle class. And then we see console.writeline, the label concatenated with the current registration number. So in the next tutorial, we'll actually demonstrate how you can create an array of objects. So we could have multiple cars all referenced by the same identifier.